So then after this is over, she's like, wow, y'all did it. Congratulations. Now let's start exercise two. Huh? Y'all got 48 hours to get your asses to the camp. So uh, quit looking at me stupid and get the stepping. Is this nigga serious? Ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time to return to the round table of Black Air Force activity because a new challenger has approached to be judged and to take their rightful seat at this sacred table of demons. And it's none other than this sweet, innocent little... <sighs> Bro, I'm not even gonna sugarcoat this shit. The literal spawn of Satan, Tanya Von de Gerichoff. This ain't no damn little girl. This is a demon child, a warmonger, a tyrant. This is pure evil immortal form. Like, I think I teased this video all the way back with like truck coon. What was that, like a year ago? <laughs> Jesus. But y'all already know we got the evidence on deck. And it is finally time to observe the isekai demon. So without further ado, exhibit A. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Exhibit A, the origins of a demon. So we start off in 2013. Meet Tanya. I beg your pardon? Yeah, this Jeff Bezos ass businessman is Tanya. So as we can see, bro is laying off this guy right here. Bro said, listen, you ain't clocking in on time. You do subpar work and you lazy as hell. So you fired, nigga. But bro's like, please, I have a family. But then he says, uh, is that supposed to be my problem? You see, if you wasn't doing some shitty ass work, you wouldn't be in this situation right now. So f out of my face. Oh my God. So later on, while homie is at the train station, he ends up getting pushed into the tracks by the dude that got let off. And then he appeared once more. What's good with y'all niggas? Y'all never thought y'all would see me again, huh? Oh, well, I'm back even better than ever. Look at me, I'm a train. What, y'all thought y'all would never see me again after what the Tokyo Revengers did? After I squished that bitch and made her a can of spam? It's so satisfying to see a protagonist's bones squished and splattered on my windshield. You will be a fine addition to my collection. No, time to get some Oh, what? <laughs> So homie ended up getting reincarnated into Tanya. And now bro really in the trenches. So Tanya had a plan. She said, I, right, I'll just join the military. So she ended up rising through the ranks pretty fast because she has the conscience of a 40 year old man. So she ended up becoming a drill sergeant. So she like, I right, listen to fuck up. You listen to everything I say. If you disobey me, I will not hesitate to put my foot up your ass. If you disobey me again, I will put a bullet in your motherfucking skull. Am I clear, nigga? Um, question, can I go to the bathroom? Sure, you can go to the bathroom. You know what? You could do it right now for everybody to see. Oh my God. So obviously they're taking this as a joke because they think that, oh, this is just a little girl. But dear God, they will learn. Cause later on in the day, an explosion ends up happening. And she blasted these niggas out of the classroom. So then she walks up and she's like, mm, mm, mm. look at y'all on the ground, ass tooted up like a bitch. So then bro tried to hit her, but then she just slapped him. Then she says, didn't I tell you if you disobey me, I will put a bullet in your skull. Looks like your brains need to be rearranged because you can't follow orders for shit. But then dog has to stop. He's like, hello, hello, chill. So after this incident, they ended up sending her on this recon mission. So she ends up finding some enemies, so she calls an artillery strike on them. So while they're getting bombed, she's just watching them and she's like, look at them running around like ants. Pathetic, they deserve to die. But while she's doing this, she ends up getting attacked. So she's like, hey, cuh, I need reinforcements. But then they say, I'm oh, sorry, but uh, we ain't got no reinforcements right now. Huh? So you all on your own. Delay the enemy till then. Over and out, my nigga. And look at her, she like, oh, hell no. They're sending me to die. But then she just starts losing it. She like, well, oh, fuck. Looks like we on pack watch tonight. So she blitzes them and starts blasting. Oh my God, she blew up his arms. But then she ends up running out of ammo. So she's like, huh, looks like I have to improvise. So she sucks this nigga. Then she grabs homie from behind and she's like, do you want to go boom boom? Oh, shit. Over a kill.
Oh my gosh, she killed all of them. And look at her fall and she's like, <laughs> pussies. So after that shenanigan, she ended up getting an award. And now they done put her on the front lines. So she starts fighting this company right here and she just starts going ballistic. So then she blisses these dudes and cuts homie's head clean off with a ginormous smile on her face. Yo, she is just kill. collapsing Triple them. Kill. So then she flies all the way up and starts talking to him. Attention, you are on Imperial grounds. This is our land, so f off with that busted ass hockey puck on your head. So obviously they don't listen. So they just start shooting at her, but she just eats it. So she's like, ugh, so uncivilized. Well, time to pull out the aim bot. Tactical nuke incoming! Yeah. So after the shot, she's like, <coughs> God damn, your packs hit hard as shit. Now, please surrender and, uh, Lieutenant, I think they're dead. God damn it. So after this, Tanya ended up having a run in with these two soldiers. So these dudes end up trying to go take out the artillery, but that's not their orders. So Tanya's like, Yo, the f y'all doing, man? That is not my orders. Get y'all asses back here. But they didn't listen and did it anyways. So later on, when they get back to camp, she calls them in and she says, all right, y'all niggas going home. You can't listen to orders. I ain't got no patience for somebody that can't do their job. But they like, hell no, nah, I plan work. So then she just looks at him and says, so are you saying that you're disobeying me? So you're saying I should kill you niggas right here. But Victoria ends up stopping her. So she's like, ah, fine, f out of my face. But don't think y'all getting off light. So after this, those two ended up getting stationed at the rear because Tanya sent them there. So some days end up passing. So they end up getting a report saying that those two dudes, Cursed and Harold, are dead. They ended up getting hit by a random shell. So Victoria goes and tells Tanya, yo, uh, Cursed and Harold are dead. And she's like, yeah, I know. So she's like, wait, 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 what? Then Tanya says, that pillbox is very exposed and is an easy target for artillery fire, don't you think? So then she realizes, oh my God, Lieutenant, did you send them niggas to die? <laughs> oh no, bro. She sent them to their death because she knew that place was going to get attacked. She said, I am the judge, jury, and executioner. Oh, no. Nah. I can honest a guy in this trial right here just off of that. But this is just the beginning. It gets 10 times worse. So, yeah, that was Exhibit A, and it's time to move on to Exhibit B. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Exhibit B, War Crimes. So, Tanya ends up getting permission from the generals to have a special battalion all to herself so they give her a month to train them so at the training ground she ends up blowing up the entire place so she's like wake up bitches it's time for target practice but not for y'all for me so hope y'all can survive for 36 hours so she ends up shooting up a bunch of duds but then one ends up blowing up so she's like oh i forgot i accidentally added some live shells in there too so uh good luck so this ends up going for 36 hours, a whole day and a half. So then after this is over, she's like, wow, y'all did it, congratulations. Now let's start exercise two. Huh? Y'all got 48 hours to get your asses to the camp. So uh, quit looking at me stupid and get the stepping. Is this nigga serious? So she made them track all the way through the freezing cold and through enemy territory to the new camp. So then they also ended up getting hit by an avalanche. So she's just standing over him like, wow, y'all some bums. So bro right here is knocked out. So she flies over to him and kicks the <laughs> shit out of him. Then she just picks up dude right here and she's like, God damn y'all sorry as shit. So about a month later, their training arc finally completes. And look at her, she's like, Ugh, I wish some of y'all died. But oh well, congratulations. You are no longer bitches. So let's go catch some bodies. So they end up fighting this one country called Daki. So while they lighten them up, Tanya's just looking down on them like, wow, they are pathetic. What are they doing? 
the f are they? The British in the Revolutionary War? They're lining up in a line. Nigga, this ain't 1776. So later on, they end up finding their base. So she lands and she's like, greetings, welcome to the fatherland. What is the purpose of your visit? Do you have your visas? Cause if not, we're gonna have to deport your asses. Body bags included. So they start shooting at her and she says, so uncivilized. Kill them, kill them now. So then after this, she's like, all right, y'all wanna have some fun? Let's go to their capital and blow that sky high. So that night, they end up pulling up to their capital. So they end up giving Tanya the megaphone and she's like, <clears throat> Greetings, greetings, everybody. It is my job to inform you that we are about to blow your shit sky fucking high. This is your only warning. All right, kill them niggas. So they end up just blowing up the place. Good God. So after this, they end up having another battle. So in this one, she said, just so y'all know, I cancel reinforcements. I need to know if y'all got that dog in y'all. So then these bombers end up pulling up. She's like, ah, yes, time for some action. So then she ends up jumping on the plane. Then she says, greetings and goodbye. I'm gonna just leave this right here if y'all don't mind. Oh, shit. So then the other planes start retreating. So she's like, where do y'all think y'all going? Allow me to show you the latest and greatest aimbot installed by German super science. So she shoots it and oh my God, that is the most broken ass sh I have ever seen. Nah, that aimbot is out of control. That rivals Roberta's. Instead of phase, nah, I'm taking us for a throwback. Optic Tanya, nigga. So then she goes down to inspect the plane, but then time stops and you know who starts speaking to her again. Yo, what's good, little nigga? You like the wood I sent you to? Send your ass back to World War One so you can dig yourself out the trenches. Literally, that's why I sent your ass to trench warfare, nigga. But then she ends up just shooting him. She's like, dog, I ain't got time for your bamboozled ass shenanigans today. So then about a minute later, she finds this cabin. So then she says, God is Oh my God. <sighs> Should have been stationary in a whack ass wooden building. So then after this, Tanya ends up committing one of the most awful war crimes ever. So a resistance was forming in the Republic territory that they took over. So Tanya's crew pulls up and they try to ambush them, but this did not go well at all because she ended up bodying them. <laughs> So after they crush this entire resistance, she ends up telling them, yo, all y'all better surrender now. But obviously they don't. So this one Imperial guy ended up running out, but they ended up shooting. But Tanya was recording the entire time, just waiting for them to slip up and take the bait. So that gave her the permission to wipe out the entire town. So she ordered an artillery strike on the entire place and just destroyed everything. Home, civilians, it didn't matter. Everything was just getting blown up. So hours later after the barrage finally ends, they end up getting orders to take out the remaining mages. But the thing is the mages are by a bunch of civilians trying to evacuate. But Tanya's like, hmm, I don't care an order's in order. So bro right here comes in and he tries to stop her. He's like, yo, this is just morally wrong. This is terrible. But she's like, an enemy is an enemy. Look at all them civilians right there. You think that some of them ain't gonna turn into soldiers one day? Oh, buddy, you best believe they are. Woman, kid, it don't matter. So then she smacks homie and puts him on the ground. So then she puts the gun on the ground and she says, so what's it gonna be? You or them? You can follow waters, can't you? So do it! <laughs> and let's just say that was a very dark day. So yeah, that was exhibit B and it is finally time for our final exhibit, exhibit C. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have finally reached our final exhibit. Exhibit C, tearing apart a family. Meet Colonel Sue, a colonel from the US, like literally homeboys from Arkansas. So his daughter ends up giving him this gun. And this is very important. So later on, they end up having this battle with Tanya. And Tanya and them f***ing them up, I ain't gonna lie. Colonel Sue's forces are dropping like flies. So then he sees Tanya and he starts having PTSD. He's like, wait a minute, I remember you. You're that little girl that took out my whole squad that one day. Swear to God, I'm gonna kill your ass. So he is a rushing her, but she just stabs the life out of this man. So she looks at him and she's like, wait a minute. Haven't I seen you before? Well, uh, it really don't matter. 
<laughs> You're a side character. I'll be taking that gun though. So she kills him and leaves him for dead. Or so we thought, because bro was still alive. He somehow tanked it. He tanked it with the power of God. So about a week later, while they on another mission, bro comes back and look at him. He's dripped out with an eye patch now. So he start going crazy. He got the trench gun and everything. Bro is not playing games. So when he ends up getting close, she kicks a gun out of his hand and pulls out the attack knife. So she stabs him and she's like, yeah. How you like that, big boy? But bro ate the knife and he's about to explode himself. But the little old duckling ended up coming and saving her. So then she pulls out his gun and she's like, say goodnight, motherfucker. So she ended up dumping the whole mag in his ass. Then bro had no choice, so he just blew himself up after that. And look at a coffin. <laughs> Pack watch, nigga. Rip, bozo, you won't be missed. Appreciate the new gun. So after she offed him, his daughter, the person that gave him that gun, Mary Sue, ended up enlisting to avenge her father. And dear God, her name is Mary Sue for a reason. Because she is a literal Mary Sue. She is broken. She's got the power of Jesus and Tanya's power on crack. So Tanya gets sent off to this country that's basically Russia in their world. So she gives them the mission briefing. So Victoria asks her, yo, are we permitted to defend ourselves or what? And she says, they're communist. Blow the shit out of them. So they get to Moscow and she's like, all right, y'all know what to do like this job. So they just start wreaking havoc and blowing up everything. Then she saw this statue and said, hmm, I don't like that shit, tear that shit down. So then after they destroy the place, she's like, ah, that looks way much better. I should invest in real estate here now. So then after this, they do one of the most absolutely disrespectful things I've ever seen. They plant their flag on their capital and starts to sing their national anthem while shooting a music video. <laughs> oh, no, nah, bro. Who in their right mind would think of this? This is a hostile takeover on another level. She disrespected them in their hood. So then here come old Mary Sue coconut head ass. So Tanya says, my God, you are a bother. Here, eat my empty mag. So then she gut checks her. And then Mary Sue's like, wait, wait, wait a minute. Isn't this the gun that I bought my dad? Oh, no, nah, this was the bitch that killed my dad. So then Tanya just starts lighting her up with her own gun that she bought her dad. And she put her ass out of commission. So then a couple days pass out another battle and Mary ends up pulling up again. So they start fighting. So Mary's like, you stupid little nigga, you killed my papa. And Tanya's like, uh, do you think I care? Not my problem, bitch. So Tanya ends up just straight up nuking. So she goes down to see if she's still alive. And she starts walking out that hole like the Terminator. She said, bitch, you best know I'm from Arkansas. The f I'm a Razorback, nigga. So she ends up socking Tanya and sends her into the spin cycle. Then she's looking at her like, I waited for this day so goddamn long. So she just starts beating her. Mickey, monger, get your ass up, girl. So then after she finishes beating the life out of Tanya, she starts looking at this angel and she's like, ah, oh, yes, praise God. But Tanya ends up throwing a knife in her. So she tries to attack her, but she pops her. And then she said, you uncivilized animal. Tell your daddy I said hello. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, bro. She is just different. The dad and the daughter? <laughs> Demon. But right before she's about to finish her off, homeboy ended up coming in and saving her. Ooh, she got lucky. And look at her. She like, damn. Should have domed her ass. All right, I've seen enough. Sit down. This is just demonic. The war crimes committed. Killing your own men. Literally traumatizing Mary Sue, as well as killing her father with a gun that she gave him, as well as cussing out God on multiple occasions? This is truly the spawn of Satan. So yeah, that's another episode down. So uh, hope y'all enjoyed. Make sure you follow your boy on IG and Twitter. Sub to the second channel, and uh, I am out of here.